Hello everyone. I have SDG 25 Airman 25KW generator here and the customers complain that there's no voltage output. He um, says it runs real good, the engine sounds good, but it will not put out any voltage and no power. It connects it to a, a few items and there's no power output. So we're going to troubleshoot it, find the problem and fix it. Thank you. Okay, first we're going to start it up, see what's wrong with it. Okay, engine runs fine. Got um, 1800 RPMs, that's correct. Fuel. Not reading any temperature, got oil pressure. Okay, now this is your frequency, which should be at around 60 hertz. You can see it's at marking 47. This one here is reading zero. And this one reading has amps. You won't read amps unless you have some actually working. Now this is your voltage selection switch. This should never be turned while the generator is running. So I wonder if we can turn this one. This one reads what voltage at each phase. There's nothing. Nothing breakers on, no voltage at all. You can see it went down. Okay. Now the actual load terminals are right here. L1, L2, and L3. These are all hot lines. This is your neutral. So with the connection here of uh, 12240, you would get 220 from any two of these. And you would get 110 between the neutral and any of these three. You would get 110. Or 124, up to 124. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we'll open this up and see if there's any... Uh, AC fuses that might be blown. So we open this up. Now, I'm not sure how familiar you are with generators, but you see all of this stuff in here? You don't really need any of that stuff to actually make the generator put out power. That's just uh, extra bells and whistles put in by the uh, manufacturer because basically the generators that are Multiquip, Onan, Generac, they're all basically the same. The main, the major components. There's only five components you have to have to make it actually generate power. And uh, all of this stuff, you don't really need to make it put out power. So that makes it easier to test. And I don't see any uh, fuses besides these uh, DC fuses. So it shouldn't be an issue with a uh, line fuse blown or anything. So let's check out the inside of the generator. Okay. So, you got your engine, engine works fine. All the engine does is turn this part, your generator. You got your generator stator, your generator armature, your exciter stator, and your exciter armature. Those are the four pieces you need, and then the fifth will be the engine. That's all you need. And to give you an idea of basically how it operates, on the very front end of the generator, you have a small generator that puts power from the voltage regulator, which is probably in here, straight into the ex your exciter stator. The part that stays still, and it's your exciter. So the regulator will put in 12 to 50 volts, whatever it's designed for, into the exciter stator. And when that does, it induces the voltage into the exciter armature, the part that spins. Then the voltage goes through there and converts to DC first, because the voltage generator is AC. And then the rotating large armature in here, so your generator armature, it induces the voltage in that, and that produces voltage into your main generator. So let's... In here, it's probably voltage regulator. Let me get that open and we'll come back. Well, I think this is going to be a fast one. I was looking for clip wires. I was looking for, I smelled. When it's burned, you can usually smell a uh, pungent burn smell. I did not get any pungent burn smell. And I tested the relays. The relays are all good. And the breakers and everything seem to be good. The only thing I found that was wrong with it, if you look in here, you'll see right here. Okay. You see this little black thing right here? There's a little reset button right there. And all I did was push it in. And what happens is when the excitation gets too, too, too many amps, 
A lot of times, uh, people need a 50kW, but they don't want to pay for a 50kW, and they rent a 20kW or a 35, something that's smaller, because it will cost half as much. But when they connect up their whatever they're connecting to it, lights or carnival or whatever, it, in order to protect itself, the machine has a little circuit breaker right here, a little white dot, and it pops out. And when it pops out, you get no voltage at all. So, let's crank it up again here. You see? Now they popped up high. We got 60 hertz, which is exactly what you should have, and 200 volts. This is your amps. You won't read any amps at all until you actually have a load on it. But um, I'm sure it's fine. So I'm 240, 120. So it should be good to go. Thank you very much for uh, watching my video. This time it was a quick fix and it uh, doesn't always happen that way. Thank you very much for watching and please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll have some backhoes coming up and I'm gonna have a mini excavator coming in, a large excavator and a big backhoe, JCB. Uh, keep, keep tuned and uh, hit that like button please.